talk about under stretching is the difference between, uh, between static and dynamic stretching. It's important to understand. Static stretching, things like when we say bend over and touch your toes, that's called a static stretch. That is never done when muscles are cold. One of the things that's been learned in exercise physiology over the last several years is you, if you're a runner, you stretch after you run. You don't stretch beforehand. Before you run, you do what are called dynamic stretching. Dynamic stretching, static stretching is done warm. Dynamic stretching is done cold. An example of a dynamic stretch for a cosmetology professional. Before you cut hair. Everybody hold up your hand. Do this. Just like you would with a pair of scissors. You're actuating the motion that you will do in doing the job. A dynamic stretch for somebody who blow dries hair would be something like this to stretch out your entire shoulder girdle, your entire shoulder socket in circles back and forth or across like this would qualify as dynamic stretching. A static stretch for your shoulder would be to take your arm, grab your arm, don't do this now, pull your arm across in front of your chest like this and pull, 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 pull. Based on the size of your arm muscle and the amount of bulk you carry in your chest, it'll determine how far you can pull your arm over like this. However, don't ever do that when muscles are cold. You're going to tear or rip a muscle, and you're going to suffer an injury. Static stretching is only done when muscles are loose, limber, and warm, and the joints are fluid, and everything's moving. Dynamic stretching is done when we're cold.